Hi, it's Joan. Today I'm going to be watching One and Up, season three, episode five, Jolene, in which I expect the demon Jolene will go around stealing everybody's man. Yeah, I, I this the last episode was very strange with its ending. Um, obviously, very scared. I'm still not over that demon. It's weird. I did only watch it like five minutes ago. But yes, I am ready to watch this episode and figure out what's going on with Jolene and hopefully finding out some more background. Um, but yes, let's go. I do love Zoe Palmer. All you have to do is tell me everything. Of course. Just like always. We still haven't solved the murder trees moving around. Mm. I mean, yeah, the demon enslaved right. through delicious sweet goods. I'm also an it's not too bad all the way to go. Oh, you don't have Jolene. Who the hell's Jolene? <laughs> oh, God. You're gonna be so useful. Delightful. Don't like this. Who was he? An angel. Oh, he was someone better. No poppy seeds. I know you hate them. Don't eat a she's random woman. You just right? put over for speeding food, Nicole. Oh. Obviously, she's very persuasive. All my weaknesses <laughs> bitches. I said, hey. Wait, did I just say? <laughs> oh, that's right. Bitches is dead on. Oh my god, we did it. That wasn't the demon, that was just the revenant. <gasps> oh my god. You have taken everything from me. But you are gonna pay it back. You'll have to do it yourself. But we can make that happen. We really, what the hell is wrong with you? I really don't like this. It's very stressful. Oh, like, is anyone not under the spell? Thanks. Come on, Waverly. Don't eat it. Oh, Just eat someone to stop eating them. Doesn't add up. Yes, it doesn't add up. Like a Nanaimo bar? What does it do? It makes his finger look really pretty. Oh, I have not seen it. Sure as hell don't seem to be on mine, half sister. Fabley, none of this is real. Or really how one is feeling or anything. <laughs> Why did I just say that? That was awful. I drove in. Prettiest girl in purgatory. I don't like you at all. Yeah, I didn't even mean that. Nice mama. <laughs> oh god. Not. <laughs> Sent you guys some baking, but I'm just gonna give it to the staff for having to deal with the two. Good, yes. That's all we want. You don't want them to eat the baking. Thank you, Nicole. Well, oh, I was, I was going to. I don't like Jolene. She's ruined everything. I'd hear it from Joel. I'm so sorry. I need some stuff to figure this out. Oh god. You know what would make sense. You know? I don't even think I like you. Oh god. Possible. I threw this away into the woods. Oh my god, someone come. At least I'm starting to figure it out. Waverly. Some breakfast. <laughs> You're not God, they know, but someone hurry up, please. If you, you are the dark thing. Waverly, this is true. The real baby was special. But you're not her. It is horrible to reach. Because nobody loves you either. They're all coming for you, Waverly. My Nona. My Nona loves me. Yeah. She does. Yeah, so I know that Nicole does too. Yeah. And, and talking. Jeremy. Oh, Mama. You don't bring them a single thing. I'm here. I'm here and I stay. And I love them back. And I, I never. 
Gosh. Wish <laughs> you could have run any other direction. It's your own fault you ran into that trap. So, bullshit I was gonna deal with. Super evil did her unearthly because I said that you are the only luscious funny that's cute yeah hot <laughs> as hell baby that i need and she tossed me into the closet ironically <laughs> is an angel and honest to god heaven's above that's what i thought at the end of the episode but is that true so that was definitely a crazy episode. A lot happened. It was quite, it's always hard to watch. It was easy in the sense that it wasn't really how they were all feeling. So some of the things they said were things that they thought to a point, but with the people you love, you can have issues and things that are actually minor and this episode made them seem major. Um, it was a very good episode. I loved that they were all um, ultimately strong enough in their love for each other and their belief in each other to fight through Jolene's control and you know, Waverly was able to say, well, no, they all love me and I love them, and that's strong enough. Um, Nicole, again, she was strong enough. All of them were, and it was really wonderful. Doc is, okay, an interesting part. I think the fact that they all know about his wife, um, that will have repercussions into the real emotional responses of it, which we'll see in a few episodes to come. We still don't know what happened with Jeremy, well, no, Jeremy just wasn't in this episode, but Jeremy's, Waverly's friend to Jeremy's love interest, like what was going on with him? He got dragged away by the tree, was that Boshar? Why does Boshar have him? We'll have to see what's happening there. The demon Boshar has that now. now. At the beginning of the episode, I said it was Waverly's father an angel because your mum kept looking at the statue of the angel, and it was something that I thought of in the previous episode with a demon wanting Waverly. Would that mean that therefore, like, the opposite of a demon, an angel was Waverly's father? Um, that could also support the idea of if a child's born of the good, then if it makes them all. Uh, evil one too, which would be Jolene. So it would be interesting if Waverly's father is an angel. It's quite interesting that this show hasn't really delved into angels yet, so that would be an interesting thing. Or is that just a misdirection thrown at us that we're all supposed to have been leaving on all episode and then if you have to line them turn around and say actually he was just a nice guy called Julian. You know, he was in town for a summer. So yeah, I'm very excited that we're getting pieces of information, even if they might be red herrings, and looking forward to the next episode. So yes, thank you for watching.